Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Injustice Gods Among Us Year 4, Issue 1. Before I start talking about Injustice Gods Among Us, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course I have Comic Uno, Episode 97, and that's the show where I review all the comics I've read this week in one show, and here are those exclusive comics. We got Injection, Issue 1, Harrow Country, Issue 1, Rebels, Issue 2, Robin Hood Ongoing, Issue 10, The Mantle, Issue 1, Spider Man 2009 issue 12, Birthright issue 7, Lady Killer issue 5, Legendary Star Lord issue 12, Mythic issue 1, Arrow Season 2.5 issue 8, Convergence Green Lantern Parallax issue 2, which I also have an in depth review on Comic Frontline 4, Savior issue 2, Howard the Duck issue 3, and Captain Marvel issue 15. So if you want to go check out all those all those reviews, go to Comic Uno episode 97, which is annotated. But let's talk about Justice Gods Among Us year four issue one. Um, I was actually ready to give up on Injustice Gods Among Us. Not that it's a bad series. I've been really enjoying it. I didn't love the mystic stuff, though. I was like, eh, kind of getting tired of this. How long can this go? And let's see if Injustice Gods Among Us year four re-energized my... Um, my excitement for this series. So very cool cover here. We get to see the gods, which is what year four is going to be about. And, uh, you know, Superman and his crew. Uh, let's see what's going on with the story, though. So with this issue, we get to see, you know, Superman recovering and saying, oh, what do I do? I'm a tyrant. Yes, I'm a tyrant. And then his team kind of recognizing this. Wonder Woman's like, yes, I, I'm a, I want to follow you. But if you're going to be a tyrant, we're not going to follow you anymore. So <laughs> there's some bad blood there. Uh, also, Bruce... You know, no one could find Bruce, so everyone's wondering, oh, where is Batman? Where is Batman? And by the end of the issue, we find out that he's got to go to the gods and maybe, like, change himself to try to defeat Superman. Other stories going on is that we get to see um, Renee, her dealing with life, have, you know, her being drunk and not liking her situation right now. Uh, so we get a little glimpse of her. Harley Quinn is really bored, so we get a little bit of Harley. And by the end, Renee going back and saying, I want to finish this, I'm done with this, and he, she's going to kill Robin. Uh, she says, hey, Superman, come here, I'm going to defeat you, or else I'm going to kill Robin. So, uh... That's what happens in this issue. Um, I really enjoyed this issue, and like I said, I was getting a little bored with Year 3 of Injustice, but this did excite me again for Injustice Gods Among Us, because it is going in another direction. I particularly like the God story a little bit more than Magic. I'm not a big Magic fan in general, so to see the God side of the story, I think it makes a lot of sense, and it's a cool direction. I feel like it kind of revamped itself in this issue. It wasn't just like, oh, Batman and Superman going against each other. I feel there was a lot more character moments, and that's why I love about Injustice Gods Among Us was always those character moments. And we get to see some interesting characters like Renee, um, Harley, which is very entertaining to see her character in this universe. And then, of course, Batman and Superman. But I feel like at least it's a bit more divided, and we get to see a lot more character developments in here. So Justice Gods Among Us, for me, gets a solid four stars. And it did get me more excited for the series again, and I will be pick, be picking up until, you know, I'm like, ah, this is not exciting anymore. But I'm super excited for issue three, because we get to see the introduction of Barbara Gordon as Batgirl. So, very excited about that. And I still have to pick up year two, because uh, I know she was a big part in year two, so I still have to pick that up. I've read year one, year three, have to pick up year two, because it seems like that would be my favorite, too. Um, so I will be getting that in trade soon. Uh, but yeah, year four, uh, I thought it was a good start so far. So I give it a solid four stars. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also in the, in the description below, there's links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I say pick this issue up. It's a solid four stars. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.